initially we have to write this expression over here as a partial fraction so if we do that we know the denominator is 2n minus 1 2n plus 1 2n plus 3 so we'll write a by 2n minus 1 b by 2n plus 1 c by 2n plus 3 and then multiply both sides with this we'll multiply both sides with all of this and we'll get a times n minus n plus 1 n plus 2n plus 3 b times 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 3 and c times 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1 now if we put the value n equals to half then we'll get this as 0 and this is 0 so we'll only be left with a times this we'll get plus 0 plus 0 so from this we know that a is 1 8 now we can take n equals to minus half then this will be 0 this will be 0 We'll get this expression so we know b will be minus 1 by 4 and finally for c we can put the value n equals to minus 3 by 2 so this will become 0 so only c will be left we get this expression over here c times minus 4 times minus 2 so c is 1 8 so we can just write this expression as 1 8 2 n minus 1 just placing the values of a b and c so that's it with part a so moving on to part b they want us to use the method of differences to express this basically the sum of this as this form over here given on the right So we can just write, we are writing this thing and instead of n we are just using r because this. So if we place the value of f1 we can find that this term on 1 on the left will turn out to be 1 by 8. This will become 1 minus 1 by 12 and this will become 1 by 40. Now we continue. For f2 this is 1 by 24, this is minus 1 by 20, this is 1 by 56. For f3 this is 1 by 40, minus 1 by 28 and plus 1 by 72. Now if we see this, this cancels out 1 by 4, 1 by 40 plus 1 by 40 minus 1 by 20 would be 0. So we need three terms. We needed three terms to achieve cancellation over here. So we'll need three terms from the from the last as well. We can also see we can also use this to see that the cancellation occurs. Min plus one by fifty six plus one by fifty six minus one by twenty eight would be zero. You can check that. So as we need the last three values, we'll find the value of fn minus 2, fn minus 1 and fn. So if we find out fn minus 2, we just place n minus 2 instead of r in every place over, the, over here in the following equation of f of r. We'll get this as the second and this as the third term. Then for fn minus 1, we continue this and we do the same for fn you can take a moment to calculate it by pausing the video now if you check these three cancel out so this there will be three cancelling out over here and here we'll be only left with these three terms remaining over here and these three terms remaining over here we'll just show the cancellation over here 
and that's what we'll be left with these three terms over here and these three terms on the top so we can write the sum of f of r from r equals to 1 to n would be 1 by 8 minus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 24 and then the then these three minus plus 1 by 8 into 2 n plus 1 minus 1 by 4 to n plus 1 plus 1 by 8 to n plus 3 I'll take the LCM of the bottom three of, of these three terms initially. You could do it directly as well, but I'd prefer doing it in two steps to minimize errors. So these three would add up to 1 by 12, and these three will add up to, we find the denominator at first. So the denominator would be 8 into 2n plus 3. So we need to multiply 2n plus 3 on this term. Uh, 2 times 2n plus 3 on this term. And 2n plus 1 on this term. Now we need to find the LCM of this and this. So it would basically be 96 times 2n plus 1 times 2n, 2n plus 3. And now we take the numerator. For this, we'd have to multiply it with 8 into 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3. For this term, 2n plus 3, we'd need to multiply it with 12. This with 12 would be 24. And multiply 2n plus 1 with 12 again. Now we can continue calculating this. We multiply 8 here, get 16 and plus 8. We'll get 24n plus 36 minus 48n minus 72 plus 48n plus 24n plus 12. Uh, we can see this there's 224n and 1 minus 48n so these cancel out so moving on to the next line we multiply this 16n times 2n will get 32n square then 16n times 3 plus 8 into 2n will get 64n you can take another step for this if you want and finally we'll get 8 into 3 24 and then we have 36 minus 72 and 12 and if you add this constant terms 24 plus 36 plus 12 you'll get 72 and there's a minus 72 so this will sum up to 0 so in the next line we'll get 32 n square plus 64 n we can take 32 n outside and put n plus 2 in bracket and we can cut 32 and 96 now we'll get 1 is to 3 and in the next line we can just write this as n times n plus 2 divided by 3 times 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 if we recall back to the question they want us to show it in this way we have already got n plus 2 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 3 and we have got a 3 over here so we can just write the values of a which is this the value of b will be 1 which is this and the value of c which is this and that's it for part this is it for question 2